briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 1971 New York Court of Appeals case, Austin Instrument Inc. v. Laurel Corp. brings the idea of economic duress to the limelight. The principle that a contract pressured into by one party due to a threat of business harm can, in fact, be considered legally void served as the focal point of the dispute between Austin Instrument Inc. and Laurel Corporation. This complex squabble began when Austin Instrument refused to take any orders less than a full set of 40 parts from Laurel, demanding instead a steep increase in prices. Laurel, facing disciplinary action from the military for delay in their naval contracts, felt squeezed into a corner and agreed to the price hike to avoid delivery stoppage. This led to an additional subcontract for 40 more parts from Austin. Just when things seemed like they were settling down, Austin filed a lawsuit against Laurel over an unpaid sum from their second contract. Laurel fired back claiming an intention to recover the unwelcome price increases that they had accepted under intense pressure and financial threat or economic duress. Despite the initial dismissal of Laurel's counterclaim, they decided to appeal. After careful evaluation, the Court of Appeals corroborated Laurel's assertion of economic duress. Acknowledging that Austin's demand for heightened prices, combined with Laurel's inability to source these parts from other vendors in the face of military pressure, created a situation wherein Laurel had to unwillingly accept the unfavorable terms. Thus, they were a victim of economic duress. The court, with this conclusion in hand, remanded the case back to the trial court for the calculation of damages. This revised judgment enabled Laurel to potentially recover the additional costs, marking a significant victory in the arena of contracts influenced by economic duress. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.